What we're going to look at now is how we put this into a shape. So you'll notice we have a scrum here. Uh, we just hosted Christchurch College from New Zealand. And when I was talking to their coach about their attack and their defense, he simply had a simple phrase for me, said threes, mate. And what it is, it really fits into what we try to do with Rugby Ontario. Where are you in relation to the ball? How can you make a difference? What's your next task? So from this scrum, we're gonna have our eight, four, and five work together as that King Jack Queen. So again, just giving them a bit of structure to play out of. Our one, 20, and three, we think Q's got the two jersey, so it's gonna be 20 as the hooker. They're gonna work as a group of three. Then you'll see the role of the number seven in our play and number six. So from this scrum, depending on where we're attacking, whether it's far side of the field, middle, or close in, these players will know where their strike points are. What we're looking at for the number seven is whatever back movement occurs, seven will be over the ball. In our attack, and again, everybody's different, we like to send whoever the strike runner is, I want an option on each side of the ball. So you'll see our blind winger always coming on the inside, looking for that inside offload. And if we hit the 12 up, we'll have 13 coming on the outside channel with seven over top as well, making sure we win quality first phase ball. So we're gonna take a look at what our flow would look like with our 15 players, and then we'll discuss what's occurring at each breakdown. So again, remember, Ram is off nine, Rod is off 10. Let's see what it looks like. The things I want you to look for is that we're gonna have seven over the first ball, and then seven's gonna try to work to the far side of the field. Six is gonna stay home in this 15 meter channel, and then our groups of three are gonna work together and not chase the ball. Our two big sets of forwards pretty well are gonna stay within between the 15 meter lines. Back up. something tight. Big forwards around the corner, our eight and our four and five. Then when we hit it up around the corner, nine recognized that we're space on the far side. She pulled and went with 15, a winger and our seven. From there, we stretched the defense and then it was Kobe in the pocket communicating whether it would be Ram off nine or Rod off 10. He chose Rod off 10, the ball went, we hit it up, then it went to Kobe again, and we had the other set of forwards off 10. They chose a pull option, hit the king, pulled into the pocket runner, and then we put width on the game. Again though, it's about big people running hard through the midline, but also having the skill set to play out of it. Let's get one more look. We're gonna run multiple phases, and what you're looking at here is, is it a ram situation, a rod situation, or when we go 15 on the blind, we call that cab, cab. So 15 is the first receiver with one of our big back rows and a winger and the options we can play out of that. But as you know, if you don't have the skill set, the footwork, the communication, the decision making, and most importantly, winning that contact situation, we cannot play this style of dynamic rugby. Let's see what it looks like again.
showing now is what we're doing off a five-man lineout. So our strike runners out here are our eight and one of our second rows. In this situation, one of our second rows is getting lifted. He's going to work hard off this lineout to link back up. Again, the key term being link, working together, and let's see how we morph into our shape once we go from lineout ball. that these athletes have. We range from U15s here, U16s, 17s, 18s, men, women, doesn't matter. They all have to have the same core skill set in order to execute and play out of the pattern. The key is communication. You'll see we just continually went flow there. Uh, I would challenge them and say, okay, what would be the reads we would be looking at if we were going to rewind? And so Kobe, if, what would you see on the defense if we would start to call them that shifting completely over so the controls are back on the side. So Excellent. So they're chasing the ball and then we would bring it back the opposite way. You'll see how we just morphed into our pattern off line out and that would be the same off kick reception, kick counter, again communication, knowledge, working together uh, and that just gives us a shape to play out of. Now, uh, if there's any questions, Please chat it up with your coach, but more importantly, talk to your teammates. Because again, it's 15 people working on the same page. Thank you very much.